course, it's a Detroit muscle. Know what she ran in Palmdale? No, what did she run? Nine seconds flat. So much torque, the chassis twisted coming off the line. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. Our engine oil primer is going to be this cheap one gallon weed sprayer from Lowe's. Step one, this is one piece. I just cut it right here and then cut a slit right there and was able to pop that off. I'm gonna take this clear quarter inch hose, take the nut off of the wand that came with the weed sprayer, slide it on, and then we are going to submerge these in a little bit of warm water until this clear hose can slide over this barb. You can use a little bit of dish soap to help lubricate things up because like most things in life, they work better with a little bit of lube. And once warmed up a little bit, it slid right on. The next step is optional, but you can take a tire valve and stick it right in the opposite side of this fitting where the drain is going to come out and uh, or the siphon tube, whatever the hell you want to call it. That way you can pressurize it with an air compressor. I'm not going to, just to continue on with the low cost of this, uh, of making this tool. Because an LS engine doesn't have a distributor like a small block, you know, at the back, where you can gut an old distributor, put a 3 8 drill on it and spin it over to prime the oil pump. So what we're gonna do here, this isn't really anything new, but down here there is this plug. On the other side of that plug is the oil galley, one of which goes in one direction, rather, it goes to the oil pump, driven off the crankshaft. The other direction, it goes back, eh, you can't really see it, but it goes back to the filter, from the filter then to all the bearings and then up top factory oil pressure sensor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out this plug, replace it with this fitting from ICT billet 16 millimeter by one and a half to quarter inch NPT. It looks like this. And we're going to put in on the female end this quarter inch barb to quarter inch NPT fitting. You want to make sure that that tube is down at the bottom. For peace of mind, I just rinsed it out with some dish soap and then let it air dry. Texas Speed gave me 12 quarts of this driven break-in oil, so we're gonna use that. Go ahead and let that gloop, gloop, gloop into there. We're gonna put about three and a half quarts in there and then probably pour in another two, maybe in the valve cover. But that'll make sure that we get, if we run almost all this, and we're gonna turn the motor over by hand while we're doing it to make sure that it can get through all the lifters, so on and so forth. Now I'm sure somebody is gonna make a comment about how this isn't necessary, and I should just unplug the coils 
in the injectors and spin the motor over and blah blah blah. Look, I did that on the last motor and y'all saw how the bearings came out of it. I'm not saying that's what caused it, but you know, if I can avoid making the same mistakes again the second time around and make some new mistakes, then that's what we're going to do. A few minutes later, you can see that one like half pump for me pushing on that has already got oil going up the line. We look down here and we have our fitting with the bar plus a barb fitting and the hose on that. So next step is just to go ahead and pump and see what we see. So you can see it's not much, but it is showing pressure at the sensor. So we're getting we're getting oil all through there, comes up through the back of the, anyways, at the valley pan, I have a T fitting. One goes up here to the turbo. The other one goes here to the oil pressure sensor. Again, another shout out to Brandon at low dollar as well. Motion and their remote sensor block. Uh, if this car ever gets wired, we may end up doing something like bulkhead like that, but for sensors. And as of right now, there are zero oil leaks. To be fully transparent, here's the breakdown of the costs. The sprayer was $9. 10 feet of that clear hose, $322. That quarter to quarter barb fitting, $375. At Lowe's, I spent $17.28. And as you can see, it was on a gift card that I got for Christmas. So it wasn't even that much. Somebody gifted me this and I still got money left. But since that's not the end of the story, we also have to pull open what the cost for that other M16 by quarter fitting cost. Here we go. Here's that fitting. Cost is $16.